June is Spina Bifida and Hydrocephalus Awareness Month in Canada. Which makes it the perfect opportunity to learn about these complex and lifelong neurological conditions. Very true, and I recently had the chance to do just that when I met up with an extremely talented photographer named Steve Keen. Steve is the man behind the series of portraits that feature people living with spina bifida, aptly named front to back, because there are two pictures, one of the person's fully clothed front and one of their naked back. That's right, and the exhibit has been shown at galleries across Canada in the past year, and I finally got the opportunity to check it out when I was at the Humber Gallery's L Space in Toronto earlier this year. You also recently met up with Steve, who's also living with the condition, in his downtown studio in Toronto, where he explained his inspiration for this powerful series. I sure did, and he just happened to be snapping more photographs of one of the subjects of the project, Alexis Pastuk, when I popped by. Perfect, just like that. Perfect. The project um, kind of came to me in the middle of the night, fully formed, just one of those really weird things. Um, it's about expanding the idea of beautiful. What's beautiful? Um, we all see the magazines and we all see the stories about how the media portrays beauty and the perfect body and the perfect image and all of that stuff. And, you know, I think there's a lot more to what's beautiful. And um, spina bifida is a disability that causes a lot of issues for a lot of people, but doesn't take away from people's ability to do things with their lives and to live a full and and exciting and a life and you know follow your own dreams and that's what I'm doing and uh, showing people uh, in this exhibit who who think the same way that I do and showing the uh, showing what spina bifida is in a beautiful way from the beginning Steve wanted to get people's attention with this exhibition and judging by the visceral reactions he did just that I'll never forget the very first time that I showed uh, this body of work uh, a year ago last April um, through uh, Tangled Disability Arts, uh, they had a show called uh, Strange Beauty. I had some people walk into that exhibit, people that I respect very much in the art world um, and in the disability art world particularly, come out of there in tears and that was an incredibly moving thing for me for people to talk about you know, how it moved them and how beautiful they thought it was and you know, mission accomplished for me. One of the people impressed by the beauty of Steve's work was arts management intern for Tangled Arts Plus Disability, Sean Lee. He feels the power of front to back lies in the juxtaposition of the color and black and white images of each person. What it is is a colorized portrait of an individual who identifies with spina bifida. Um, front, it's a very kind of cheerful, glowing uh, portrait. They're smiling, they have uh, signifiers with them on what's important in their life. So someone might have a dog, someone might have a guitar. The front is a very nice, socially acceptable portrait. The back portrait, it's black and white, it's very stark, and he wants folks to be comfortable and to feel that they're desirable, that when they're naked and he's taking these back portraits, they, they're very intimate, and so he wants folks to be comfortable in their own skin. And that is exactly what happened for Alexis Pastuk. She jumped at the opportunity to be a part of Steve's project and like him, hopes it can change perceptions. I found I have a new sense of pride and um, it just opened my eyes and I'm like, if people don't like me for who I am, it's not my fault, it's, it's, their, it's them. So I think I'm beautiful in my own way, we're all beautiful in our own way. So I'm, I'm just hoping the world realizes that no matter what you look like, whether you're in a wheelchair, whether you have a disability, whatever, you're beautiful in your own way. Along with the two images, the subjects have a short printed quote as part of the exhibition, like Alexis's, which says, I was nervous about seeing my own back, something that nobody sees out in the open. I thought my back was going to be, what's the word, grotesque? After I saw it, I thought, that's not bad. It is my body and that's it. Steve included the quotes because the project is truly a collaboration between himself and the subjects. Oh, that's a winner, I like that. I like that. He wanted to give them the opportunity to express their impressions and experiences. In the beginning, you know, I, was, I had the idea and I sat on it for three years before I asked a single person. Because I thought, who in the hell's gonna say yes to this? Who's gonna, who's gonna say yes to taking their clothes off and exposing something that has 
such painful associations, both physical pain, emotional pain, teasing, all of those things. But after asking people and, you know, the warm response that I got from the people that I wanted to photograph, that just melted away. And it's come to the point now where I'm shooting somebody tomorrow for the, new, for the project who came to me and said, with all of the crap that I've had going on in my life, with all of the pain and with all the things, this is something that I need. Can, you, can I work with you on this? So it's really been, a, that's a full circle moment. Like this, people are coming to me now and that's really, really exciting. Can you hear the way it is and just look at me with your eyes? Yeah, just like that, yeah. Wow, it's so amazing that now people are approaching Steve for this project. It really is, and it plays into one of Steve's goals for Front to Back, to feature someone from every province and then take the exhibition to Ottawa and showcase spina bifida across the country. And as he told you, his plans for the project don't end there. He's hoping to turn it into a book. And I really think he can make it happen. He has such a passion for this series and photography in general. In fact, he has another exhibition called Moving Landscapes on display at the Station Gallery in Whitby, Ontario all month as part of Spina Bifida and Hydrocephalus Awareness Month. And keep your ear to the ground because Front to Back is making its way through galleries across the country.